uncomfortable situation at the drop of a hat. Um, and, you know, that's something I've always really admired about you, Rachel. Um, so, summer of 2007, Washington enters the picture. Uh, we've met him for the first time. Um, and I'm not going to lie, when I first met him, I was, a, I was a bit skeptical. I might be the younger brother, but I'm very protective of my older sisters. So this uh, tall, dark, and handsome guy from South America comes strolling into the room. Naturally, you know, you're a bit concerned. But, but if you spend five minutes with this guy, you get a real sense for who he is, what his values are. Um, and it doesn't take long to, to acknowledge that. He's one of the hardest working guys I've ever met. Um, you know, obviously born and raised in Brazil, he's always imagined something greater. And he's had that drive and motivation to pursue his dreams. And look at him now, a happily married man with a, a blossoming family. And you're going to receive a degree from one of the best universities in the world. That, I think that's saying a lot right there. Um, so when I, when I look at you guys, it's just... It's, it's, it's perfect. Um, you guys are obviously very different people, coming from different places, but you share a lot of those same values. Um, you're both adventurous, you're going to pursue your goals and pursue your dreams, and I think that's really special, and I think that's why you guys are together. Um, and so, I think we should all raise our glasses now. Para amor, para felicidade, and Aventura. So, to, to love, to happiness, and adventure. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys.